In the wake of sweeping sanctions imposed on China, the United States appears to have shot itself in the foot. Over the past two years, Beijing has systematically slashed billions in U.S. chip imports, signaling a seismic shift in the global semiconductor industry. While Washington sought to stifle China's tech ambitions and maintain its grip on the global tech hierarchy, the unintended consequences of this strategy are beginning to surface. Consequences that could ultimately weaken America's own position in the global economy. The trajectory of China's semiconductor industry suggests a future where Chinese chips not only rival but surpass Western counterparts in both affordability and technological sophistication. This mirrors the pattern seen with electric vehicles, EVs, and solar panels, industries where China has already established itself as the dominant global supplier by combining advanced innovation with cost-efficient production. China, the world's largest semiconductor consumer, accounted for more than half of global chip demand before the sanctions. By blocking its access to advanced U.S. technologies, the Biden administration aimed to curb China's growing influence in artificial intelligence, supercomputing, and next-generation communication. However, these restrictions have galvanized Beijing to double down on self-reliance. State-led initiatives have poured tens of billions of dollars into domestic semiconductor development, spurring rapid advancements in chip design and manufacturing. Once reliant on American tech giants, Chinese firms like Huawei and SMIC are now emerging as formidable players capable of challenging U.S. dominance. As Chinese chipmakers achieve breakthroughs in technologies like 7 nanometers processors and 232-layer NAND flash, their ability to mass-produce these advanced components at lower costs will reshape global markets. Countries in the global south, seeking affordable and high-quality technology to fuel their development, are likely to embrace Chinese chips over pricier Western alternatives. This shift is already visible in sectors like telecommunications and enterprise computing, where Chinese firms offer competitive solutions that meet or exceed the performance of Western products. Meanwhile, American chipmakers like NVIDIA, Qualcomm, and Intel are reeling from the fallout. Denied access to one of their most lucrative markets, these companies are facing substantial revenue losses. NVIDIA alone reported a sharp decline in sales to China, costing the company billions in potential growth. The U.S. semiconductor industry, long hailed as a cornerstone of American innovation, is grappling with a dilemma. How to maintain profitability while adhering to Washington's increasingly stringent export controls. The result? A growing sense of frustration within the sector as corporate leaders warn that the restrictions could erode their global competitiveness. Adding to the complexity is the global semiconductor supply chain, a labyrinthine network where the U.S. plays a pivotal but not exclusive role. By targeting China, the U.S. has inadvertently disrupted this ecosystem, pushing its allies and trade partners into difficult positions. European and Asian chipmakers, wary of losing access to the Chinese market, are exploring ways to fill the void left by American suppliers. Taiwan's TSMC, South Korea's Samsung, and even Japan are quietly expanding their footprint in China further isolating U.S. companies from a critical market. Critics argue that Washington's strategy reflects a short-sighted approach rooted in geopolitical rivalry rather than economic pragmatism. While the U.S. may have succeeded in delaying China's access to the most advanced chips, it has failed to consider the long-term ramifications of its policies. By accelerating China's drive for technological independence, these sanctions may have unwittingly sown the seeds of America's decline in the tech sector. The global semiconductor race is no longer just about innovation. It's a geopolitical battlefield where the U.S. risks losing its edge. Beyond the immediate financial losses, the broader implications are stark. The U.S.'s hardline approach is alienating allies and undermining the trust of global partners who fear being caught in the crossfire of a U.S.-China tech war. The insistence on unilateral sanctions, rather than fostering multilateral cooperation, has eroded America's credibility as a leader in international trade. Countries are now questioning whether the U.S. can be relied upon as a stable trading partner, especially when its policies appear driven more by domestic political agendas than global stability. While the U.S. may still hold the upper hand in cutting-edge semiconductor technology, the landscape is shifting rapidly. China's progress, combined with the willingness of other nations to engage with Beijing, signals a future where America's dominance is no longer assured. By weaponizing its technological advantage, Washington may have inadvertently hastened the rise of a more multipolar tech order, one in which it no longer calls all the shots. The U.S. decision to impose sweeping restrictions on semiconductor exports to China, targeting major tech players like Huawei and ZTE, 
was framed as a strategic move to curb China's technological advancements. However, this aggressive action has not only escalated trade tensions, but also triggered significant ripple effects that may ultimately weaken America's own position in the global tech race. Between 2021 and 2023, China's chip imports saw a dramatic reduction, 20.5% in value and 24.5% in volume. This sharp decline underscores a critical shift. Beijing is rapidly reducing its reliance on foreign semiconductors while ramping up its domestic chip production. Far from crippling China's tech sector, U.S. sanctions have spurred a surge of innovation and investment in Chinese alternatives, enabling domestic firms to make strides in an area long dominated by U.S. and allied companies. Chinese tech giants, including Lenovo and Huawei, are leading the charge in developing locally sourced solutions. Lenovo has rolled out PCs powered by the domestically developed Lungeon processors, while Huawei has introduced advanced telecom equipment, including 5G base stations, relying entirely on in-house chip designs. These moves represent a significant blow to U.S. suppliers, who once counted these Chinese firms among their most valuable customers. By replacing American components, these companies are not only insulating themselves from future sanctions, but are also positioning China as a viable competitor in the global semiconductor market. The long-term implications of this trend cannot be overstated. The U.S. aimed to stymie China's technological progress yet its sanctions have instead accelerated China's push for self-reliance. As Beijing continues to innovate and scale its semiconductor industry, the global chip landscape is shifting. U.S. firms are losing market share, and the once-dominant American semiconductor sector is now facing mounting challenges in a rapidly evolving global market. ChatGPT said, ChatGPT, the trajectory of China's semiconductor industry suggests a future where Chinese chips not only rival but surpass Western counterparts in both affordability and technological sophistication. This mirrors the pattern seen with electric vehicles, EVs, and solar panels, industries where China has already established itself as the dominant global supplier by combining advanced innovation with cost-efficient production. As Chinese chipmakers achieve breakthroughs in technologies like 7 nanometers processors and 232-layer NAND flash, their ability to mass-produce these advanced components at lower costs will reshape global markets. Countries in the global south, seeking affordable and high-quality technology to fuel their development, are likely to embrace Chinese chips over pricier Western alternatives. This shift is already visible in sectors like telecommunications and enterprise computing, where Chinese firms offer competitive solutions that meet or exceed the performance of Western products. The ripple effect will be profound, as more nations in Asia, Africa, and Latin America adopt Chinese chips. Western semiconductor companies will face dwindling market share and heightened competition. The U.S.'s attempt to isolate China technologically through sanctions may accelerate this trend, pushing more countries to turn to Beijing for reliable and cost-effective alternatives. This scenario highlights a growing dichotomy. While Western nations focus on restricting China's access to global markets, China's strategy of scaling innovation and reducing cost positions it as the preferred partner for emerging economies. Just as Chinese EVs and solar panels have become the global standard in renewable energy, its semiconductors could soon become the backbone of the world's digital infrastructure, further cementing China's influence on the global stage. The U.S. strategy of restricting semiconductor exports to China has inflicted significant damage, not just on Chinese companies but also on American tech giants and their allies. Intel, one of the largest players in the global semiconductor market, reported a staggering 30% decline in sales in China while Texas Instruments, desperate to maintain its foothold, slashed prices by up to 90%. These figures underscore the heavy toll on U.S. companies, which are losing revenue and market share in what was once their most lucrative market. The fallout extends beyond American firms. The world's leading memory chip makers, including Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron, have all suffered major losses as China's demand for foreign memory chips wanes. By early 2024, these companies reported significant revenue declines, a direct result of China's strategic shift towards self-sufficiency and the rapid expansion of its domestic memory chip production. China's breakthroughs in NAND flash technology illustrate the scale of its progress. Domestic manufacturers have achieved mass production of advanced 232-layer NAND chips, a feat that not only challenges the dominance of U.S. and South Korean firms, but also positions China as a formidable player in the global memory chip market. This level of innovation, achieved in record time, highlights how U.S. sanctions have spurred China to double down on developing cutting-edge technologies, effectively bypassing the restrictions. 
China's rapid advancements in the semiconductor industry are reshaping the global tech landscape, with significant achievements in key sectors underscoring its growing independence from foreign technology. By 2023, domestically developed server chips and operating systems had captured over 70% of China's local market. This dominance highlights China's capability to drive innovation in critical areas such as data centers and enterprise computing, sectors previously reliant on foreign technology. In the same year, Chinese manufacturers achieved another breakthrough with the launch of a fully domestically produced 5G smartphone. Powered by chips developed by local companies like SMIC, this milestone showcased China's ability to bypass U.S. sanctions and continue its march toward technological self-sufficiency. The achievement not only underlined the resilience of Chinese tech firms, but also marked a significant shift in the global smartphone supply chain, signaling reduced dependence on U.S. and allied technologies. On a broader scale, China's chip production accounted for nearly 30% of global capacity in 2023, with domestic output surging by 12.7% annually. This growth reflects Beijing's strategic investment in its semiconductor sector, which has rapidly matured to include advanced technologies. Notably, chips using the cutting-edge 7 nanometers process have now entered mass production, positioning China as a serious contender in high-performance computing and other advanced applications. These advancements, driven by government support and private innovation, demonstrate China's capacity to pivot in response to external pressures. The U.S.'s restrictions were intended to halt China's tech rise, but the opposite is unfolding. China is solidifying its position as a global leader in semiconductor manufacturing and innovation, further challenging U.S. dominance in the tech sector. The ripple effect will be profound. As more nations in Asia, Africa, and Latin America adopt Chinese chips, Western semiconductor companies will face dwindling market share and heightened competition. The U.S.'s attempt to isolate China technologically through sanctions may accelerate this trend, pushing more countries to turn to Beijing for reliable and cost-effective alternatives. This scenario highlights a growing dichotomy. While Western nations focus on restricting China's access to global markets, China's strategy of scaling innovation and reducing costs positions it as the preferred partner for emerging economies. Just as Chinese EVs and solar panels have become the global standard in renewable energy, its semiconductors could soon become the backbone of the world's digital infrastructure, further cementing China's influence on the global stage. The U.S. strategy of restricting semiconductor exports to China has inflicted significant damage, not just on Chinese companies, but also on American tech giants and their allies. Intel, one of the largest players in the global semiconductor market, reported a staggering 30% decline in sales in China, while Texas Instruments, desperate to maintain its foothold, slashed prices by up to 90%. These figures underscore the heavy toll on U.S. companies which are losing revenue and market share in what was once their most lucrative market. The fallout extends beyond American firms. The world's leading memory chip makers, including Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron, have all suffered major losses as China's demand for foreign memory chips wanes. By early 2024, these companies reported significant revenue declines, a direct result of China's strategic shift towards self-sufficiency and the rapid expansion of its domestic memory chip production. China's breakthroughs in NAND flash technology illustrate the scale of its progress. Domestic manufacturers have achieved mass production of advanced 232-layer NAND chips, a feat that not only challenges the dominance of U.S. and South Korean firms, but also positions China as a formidable player in the global memory chip market. This level of innovation, achieved in record time, highlights how U.S. sanctions have spurred China to double down on developing cutting-edge technologies, effectively bypassing the restrictions. China's rapid advancements in the semiconductor industry are reshaping the global tech landscape, with significant achievements in key sectors underscoring its growing independence from foreign technology. By 2023, domestically developed server chips and operating systems had captured over 70% of China's local market. This dominance highlights China's capability to drive innovation in critical areas such as data centers and enterprise computing, sectors previously reliant on foreign technology. In the same year, Chinese manufacturers achieved another breakthrough with the launch of a fully domestically produced 5G smartphone. Powered by chips developed by local companies like SMIC, this milestone showcased China's ability to bypass U.S. sanctions and continue its march toward technological self-sufficiency. The achievement not only underlined the resilience of Chinese tech firms, but also marked a significant shift in the global smartphone supply chain, signaling reduced dependence on U.S. and allied technologies. On a broader scale, 
China's chip production accounted for nearly 30% of global capacity in 2023, with domestic output surging by 12.7% annually. This growth reflects Beijing's strategic investment in its semiconductor sector, which has rapidly matured to include advanced technologies. Notably, chips using the cutting-edge 7 nanometers process have now entered mass production, positioning China as a serious contender in high-performance computing and other advanced applications. These advancements, driven by government support and private innovation, demonstrate China's capacity to pivot in response to external pressures. The U.S. S restrictions were intended to halt China's tech rise, but the opposite is unfolding. China is solidifying its position as a global leader in semiconductor manufacturing and innovation, further challenging U.S. dominance in the tech sector. The global semiconductor market is projected to reach $611 billion in 2024, representing a 16% growth and an all-time high. This growth is largely driven by the increasing demand for AI semiconductors, particularly in data center processing and high-bandwidth memory chips. China's semiconductor market share is expected to rise to 17% in 2024, up from 9% in 2020, with a compound annual growth rate of 30%. This rapid growth is causing concern in the United States and South Korea, as the U.S. semiconductor industry's market share is projected to fall below 40% by 2024, down from about 50% in 2015. China's progress in semiconductor technology has been remarkable, with some analysts suggesting that China's chip capabilities are now just three years behind industry leader TSMC. This advancement is partly due to China's strategic investments in its semiconductor industry, with 28 semiconductor factories currently under construction in China, representing an investment of $26 billion. The Chinese government and semiconductor enterprises are working closely to promote the development of the industry, focusing on areas such as silicon photonics, advanced packaging, and new materials. Despite U.S. sanctions, China's semiconductor industry continues to grow. The country is making significant strides in developing its own technology paths, potentially preparing for long-term autonomy in chip production. Chinese chipmakers are increasingly utilizing domestic equipment, accounting for up to 40% in new production lines. This shift towards localization, while causing short-term disruptions, is not expected to derail China's long-term growth in the semiconductor industry. The U.S. sanctions have had unintended consequences, potentially accelerating China's drive for technological independence. By pushing China to develop its own semiconductor ecosystem, these restrictions may ultimately strengthen China's position in the global tech industry. As China continues to innovate and scale its semiconductor capabilities, the global chip landscape is shifting, presenting both challenges and opportunities for players in the international market.